correlation is not the same as causation. What does that mean? That means the fact that two things are like related or happening at the same time does not mean that one of those things caused another thing. Here's a quick little example because I gotta go teach. A friend sent me this like fancy data study that a coach did to show that their mastermind helps people make more money. And they're like, look, when people came into our mastermind, this is how much they were making and they saw like 200 times growth, woohoo. Here's the sitch. People being in your mastermind, your coaching, whatever, 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 and making more money are correlated. Like both those things are happening at the same time. It doesn't mean that your mastermind, your coaching, whatever, 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 caused them to make more money. And I would even go a step further because this person's not reporting like p-values and talking about statistical significance or like correlation coefficients, I bet they didn't even do the work to see if the relationship was statistically significant, like, or the work to show how strong the relationship is between me participating in your coaching and me making a bunch more money. This matters because if you want to share out results and are like, I caused this thing to happen, you you can't just like collect data at the beginning and collect data at the end and be like, look, I caused this change. We don't know. Maybe you did, maybe you didn't. It was correlated. It was not cause. If you want to prove causation, hey friends, you got to do a randomized control trial. Two groups of people. Randomly assign people to the two groups. Some people get your coaching. Some people don't get your coaching. You, you compare their incomes before and after. Causation. That's hard to do, right? So then you might do something called like a, called like a quasi-experimental design where it's not random assignment, but you control for other things that might explain a change of income. And if none of those other things matter at all, you could say like, hey, we have compelling evidence to believe that we actually might have caused this change. Most of the time I hear someone saying, like the minute I hear someone saying, hey, like people who participate in this group made this much more money and it's because of our group. I just like immediately, I'm like immediately, no, that's probably not true because you probably don't understand how correlation and causation works and like don't know how to measure impact. So that's my side rant before I go teach about survey design.